Wow. I really don't know if I like this hairstyle because I kind of look bald, but it's fine. So today I'm going to film my skincare routine and kind of just do like a quick little walkthrough of what I use to heal my skin, protect my skin, ensure that my skin is doing what I want it to do. I'm down about, I need to sit like crisscross, about my skincare history. I, for a long time, did not take care of my skin, and when I did start to take care of my skin, I wasn't really sure what products I should be using, if I was using the right products. Now that I'm more educated and also just more aware, I have been able to build myself a really good skincare routine that works for me and my needs, and what works for me doesn't always work for everyone else. I am combo to oily, which basically means I always get oily in the T-zone, and then sometimes I get oily all over, sometimes I don't. Usually in the summer that's when I get more oily, but for the most part I am combo and I also am sensitive and acne prone. Being sensitive and acne prone is very difficult. I actually have an allergy to an ingredient in cosmetics, both skincare and makeup, and we have not been able to find it. It actually most likely is an ingredient that has different names because every single product I would have a reaction to when laying out all the ingredients side by side by side by side and running an analysis on my computer through it. The only common ingredient was water. Being sensitive and also acne prone is really hard because all the skincare products that gave me allergic reactions were for acne prone skin. So like I said, what works for me might not work for everyone else. One of these items, actually I know <laughs> one of these items everyone can benefit from. So I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna do my AM routine and my PM. My AM skin routine is very minimal. For my face wash, I use the Youth of the People Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser. This is basically a green juice for your skin. It's a really gentle cleanser, great for every day. It doesn't strip the oils, but doesn't leave me feeling oily. And then I have been Recently using the Proteiny Polypeptide Cream from Drunk Elephant. This is just a great daily moisturizer. This every morning, just to give myself some hydration. Oh, no shit. What else would you use a moisturizer for? I use um, the Mario Badescu Facial Spray with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea after my moisturizer. This is just a really refresher, give me a little bit more hydration, and it smells really good. I love the cucumber one, it's my favorite one out of them. I like spraying this because it gives me that extra boost of hydration under my makeup. And I also will use this like throughout my makeup routine just to kind of almost melt any powder product into my skin a little bit better. Last thing I do sometimes in the morning, sometimes at night, it really depends, is I take um, skin detoxing supplements. I've been taking the Hum Daily Cleanse, so this just helps clear your skin and body from toxins with green algae and detoxing herbs. I actually just picked this one up today. It's the Sephora Collection from Ali Skin Detox Gummies. But both essentially do the same thing. They help clear your skin from the inside out. Definitely getting something to help clear your skin orally will definitely aid in clearing your skin down the road. So I always recommend these. And then I just do my makeup as normal if I'm working. If I have a day off, if I'm not leaving the house, I don't put anything on. Letting your skin breathe will definitely be a lifesaver. So now, nighttime. So if I wore makeup that day, I have been using one of these babies. This is a makeup eraser, not the actual makeup eraser. I would just like to point out my lash. Literally, look at this. It is literally falling off my inner corner. This is actually from Sephora Collection and they don't make them anymore. I'm very upset about that. It takes it off super quick. It doesn't leave any nasty residue like makeup wipes do. After I take off my makeup, if I had any on, I'll just use the Youth of the People Cleanser again in the evening. Sometimes I do this about twice a week. I'll use the Dark Angels Face and Body Cleanser from Lush. I always cleanse before I use this, just to be sure that everything is off my skin because this is going to pretty much dig everything out of your pores, really get all that dead skin off. And with this, you have to moisturize after or else you're gonna feel very dry. So I have like a map kind of deal. If I use the Dark Angels Face Exfoliator, I will do the Birth of Venus Jelly Face Mask. It has rose, lavender, chamomile, a really soothing mask. I'll do this when I do the Dark Angels just to kind of calm down my skin. 
If I did not do Dark Angels, that means I am going in with the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. Let me tell you, I am obsessed with it. I just started using it and I, I've been breaking out, but that means it's working because your skin is purging. When your skin purges, that's when you're breaking out a lot. That's exactly what this is supposed to do. If you read online, you know, check out Glam Glow's Instagram, Twitter, anything. They'll say, you know, your skin's gonna purge from anywhere for a few days to max, I think like a week and a half or two weeks. I'll do that when I don't do the Dark Angels because if I do Dark Angels and that mask, that's really, really intense for anyone's skin. I don't recommend that. With this, it does tingle a lot and it almost feels like you can feel your pulse in your face. After masks are rinsed off and gone, I will go in with, I'm probably gonna say this wrong, Thayers, Thayers? Thayers, oh, you're just an idiot. Witch Hazel alcohol-free toner. This is, again, cucumber scent. I really like the scent of cucumber. And put this on a cotton round, wipe down my face after I dried it off from rinsing off the masks. The Witch Hazel is an antibacterial and aloe is soothing. And then I go back in with the polypeptide cream from Drunk Elephant again favorite moisturizer at the moment. The last product, it is the Mario Badescu Drying Lotion. Put this on and in like three days flat, that thing is gone. It literally takes care of your spots like that. It's insane. That is my skincare routine. That wasn't really exciting or interesting. I really don't think I like my hair like this. I, mm, mm. Look at my skin, look at that, look. Do you see that? Like, it's still breaking out. And it's not like, I don't know what that is. But I am, huh, breaking out. But it's okay, because in like a week and a half, we're gonna, we're gonna be clear-ish. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and um, end the video, take my makeup off, wash it, and put a mask on. Hope y'all enjoyed. I never know what to do for my outros anymore. Um, yeah. So, subscribe if you want. If you don't, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not going to be hurt by that. So, 